The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 6, verses 1 to 6, 16 to 18. Jesus said to his disciples, Be careful not to parade your good deeds before men, to attract their notice. By doing this, you will lose all reward from your Father in heaven. So, when you give alms, do not have it trumpeted before you. This is what the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets to win men's admiration. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you give alms, your left hand must not know what your right hand is doing. Your alms giving must be secret, and your father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. And when you pray, do not imitate the hypocrites. They love to say their prayers standing up in the synagogues and at the street corners for people to see them. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you pray, go to your private room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in that secret place. And your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. When you fast, do not put on a gloomy look as the hypocrites do. They pull long faces to let men know they are fasting. I tell you solemnly, they have had their reward. But when you fast, put oil on your head and wash your face, so that no one will know you are fasting except your Father who sees all that is done in secret. And your Father who sees all that is done in secret will reward you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, once again, the Ash Wednesday is come. What are we going to do during this season of Lent? When we lose our near and dear ones, someone who is very, very close to us, we feel sad. At that time, and we mourn, we cry. After one year, when that particular date comes, we remember that date, and on that day, again, the memories of that person make us mourn cry and it can happen on every date of the year similarly it depends how close Jesus is to you and to me and we have the experience of the desert that he went through, his sufferings, his death, in a very close and minute way, where we receive it in our lives 
to bring a change and conversion. Pope Francis tells us that we should have the desert experience in order to receive freedom. In the book of Exodus, we know how God brings his people through the desert, through hardships, through struggles, to finally to out of slavery and freedom. We are to incorporate in our lives, in our prayers, in our day-to-day -day activities, this desert experience. We are called to go deep within ourselves and see how prayer, fasting, and almsgiving can make a sense to her personal conversion, personal change, and to newness of life. As the first reading reminds us, we are not to tear the garments and show to people that we are in a pathetic situation or we are in a mournful situation. No, let our hearts cry, let our hearts relent, repent, and finally confess and renew. This is what Pope Francis calls each one of us to do. Fasting might not affect our personal life so much to conversion, if we go on doing it every year, if we do not actually take seriously the conversion of our being, of ourself. Almsgiving and prayer can just become a routine in life if it does not do a real charity to the needy. A prayer, if we do not have a proper and good connectivity with God in order that our lives are different, are new. We see all kinds of things around us, injustice, hatred, communalism, People who are hungry, who do not have housing, a proper meal and shelter. What is my reaction towards the situation of the people around? If I am satisfied, if I am happy with everything that I have, if I am happy with all that I have gathered and I just go for prayer, give little alms and do little charity and I feel I have done the obligations. Today we are called to go beyond all this that we are able to become voice to the voiceless that we are able to change situations which are not so good in the society. We are able to change unjust ways and injustice that people experience. We are to change ourselves and then help others to change. We are to have very close contact with God in prayer. We are to do a real charity of alms giving to the needy during this time of Lent. And we are to fast not only from delicious 
or so called good food but also from all the evil that we do in life the gossip the hatred robbery gluttony fornication envy and all the evil that we do this evil we can overcome by prayer sincere prayer and change of heart and to become a new and show to the lord lord i offer this myself during this time of lent in order to be partakers in the resurrection so let us seek for god's strength for his healing for his transformative laying of hands upon us and his touch that we change and we help others to change amen